Hello everyone, I'm Sai Priya, a cloud engineer from the IT. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps to configure the requisition bot on the PeopleSoft. The requisition inquiry skill allows the requester to quickly search for the requisition items and view the status of the items in the requested lifespan. It saves a ton of time and effort for searching the requisition. Now let's go through its design. In any chatbot design, it requires utterances, intent, and an entity. Anything that the user says to the bot is an utterance. Here, where is the item 29374 is an utterance. But what is the intention of the user? His intention is to find the item status of the requisition. But what needs to be captured from the utterance? We need to capture the item ID, which is nothing but an entity. That is how the bot is able to provide the right responses back to the user. Let's take a look at the architecture. The chatbot is deployed on FSCM PeopleSoft web page, which communicates with ODA using the web channel. The NLP engine captures the intents, entities, and utterances and passes it to the dialog flow. The web services in the PeopleSoft are exposed using the application services. The custom components used in the dialog flow is able to call the PeopleSoft REST APIs through the integration gateway and sends the relevant response back to the bot. Now I'm going to walk you through the configuration steps in detail. The first step is to configure the skill in our Oracle Digital Assistant instance. Open the ODA console and click on the navigation menu. Under the development, Go to the skill store and look up for ePro requester bot. Click on pull to download the skill. After you download, you'll be able to see the skill in the skills tab. Go ahead and extend the skill in order to make changes to the existing skill. The intents, entities, dialog flow, everything is defined for us. All we need to do is to train the bot. After you finish training the bot, the next step is to create a channel. Go to the channel section, click on add channel, type the channel name, select the channel type as Oracle Web, select all the alert domains and turn off client authentication enabled. Now route the channel to the bot which we just created. Now enable the channel. Go ahead and copy the channel ID and the URI and save it in the notepad. We will be using this to configure the bot on PeopleSoft. Great! The next step is to configure the PeopleSoft environment. Log in with the user credentials and you will see the employee self-service page. You will now proceed to create a new user called as PeopleSoft Proxy, for which go to the navigation and then look up for people tools. Select security and select user profiles. Now you can go ahead and add a new value. Enter the user ID as PeopleSoft proxy and click on add. Select the symbolic ID as sysadmin1. Now go ahead and type in the password and confirm the password. Type the user ID alias as PeopleSoft proxy. Switch to the ID tab, select the ID type as none and switch to the roles tab. And you'll have to add three different roles. The first one is EOCB service user. Click on the plus button next to it and type in another role. The next role which you're going to add is PTCB user, after which you're going to add EOCB client user. Now save all the changes. Go to the enterprise component section, chatbot configurations and then bot definitions. As we are using the latest version of ODA, we will select on or after 19.10 or later Paste the ODA server URI which you copied in the notepad in the previous section and then click on save. Let's create new bot definition. Go ahead and add bot ID as a new underscore skill and enter the bot name and paste the channel ID which you copied in the notepad. Now grant access to EOCB client user and save changes. Switch to the people tools, structure and content and scroll the page to find add content reference. In the content administration page, type the name, label, and look up for node name.
You will find the node name next to the description financials or supply chain. Select the node name and URL type as generic URL and type the portal URL. Now switch to the fluids attribute page and look up for the image name. The image name should be in the format of ps underscore chat. Select the display in model and update the model parameters. Now look up for the employee self service folder and save changes. What we are going to do now is to personalize the home page. We are going to add the tile, look up for the new skill which we just added and then click on save. With this you'll be able to see the chatbot tile on the home page. We have logged in with a username called VP1. We are going to update the roles for this user. Let's look up for VP1 under user profiles and then click on the plus next to the role name in order to add a new role. Here we are going to add two different roles. One is ePro requester inquiry, another one is EOCB client user. After which we are going to save the changes. Next, we are going to go to people tools and then click on the integration broker and the configuration. Here in the service configuration, go to the restricted services, look up for the chatbot service that is PTCB APPL SVC and then search for this. You see that by default, the restricted service is enabled Disable it and then save it. Next is that we are going to update the authentication type. Go to the integration setup and then service operations and look up for PTCP application service. Go to the get service operation and here is where you are going to um, copy the rest base URL and paste it in the notepad so that we can use it for the uh, chatbot configurations at the later stages. Now switch back to the console and update the authentication type as basic auth. Save the changes. Do the same even for the post operation. Go back to integration broker and look up for application services under web services. Now search for PT underscore configuration and click on configure. Select PSODA authentication as the authentication type and save the changes. One final step before we could test is that we are going to update the configuration of the chatbot. Go to the configuration page and update the custom parameters. We will have to update the base URL. The base URL is the rest endpoint we have copied in the notepad. In this case, we will replace the domain name with the IP address. Now we will use it as a base URL. Also, go ahead and update the password for the PSFT proxy user and save changes. Before we could test the bot, we will create a requisition. Let's go ahead and check out the card. Update the requisition name, let's say monitor and hit the checkout button. Select the card number and hit submit button. As you can see here, the requisition ID is being generated for you. When you click on My Requisitions, you'll see the requisition name ID and you'll hit the arrow button next to it. Copy the item ID to the clipboard. We will use this item ID later to test the bot. Let's go back to the home page and find the chatbot tile. Click the tile to interact with the bot. Type hi and let's see what the bot responds. The bot recognizes that we are logged in with the user Kenneth and provides a personalized text message. Now let's type what is the status of the item followed by the item ID which we just copied. The bot immediately responds to the status of the requisition. What happens when we click on show transaction details? It is taking you to a page which shows the transaction summary. Let's try to find the details of the delayed item. The bot is now responding with the list of requisitions of all the delayed items in a card carousel. Click show transaction details to see the purchase order.